welcome back guys so today we're doing our third video in the Borna series be sure to go and check the other two videos drop a like and feel free to subscribe stay tuned for the unboxing firstly let's have a look at the box as you can see uh, there's an image again of the pistol there's the Sport 306 as you can see there that's the pistol we're reviewing today and the color again as you can see it's different from the other this one is more brownish if we have a look here in front you can see Sport 306 Model M another Borna branding here if have a look at the back an image of the pistol some information over here and here on the side is some warnings let's unbox it let's open the box and see what's on the inside firstly we are greeted with a Borna logo here on top as you can see then we have the owner manual over here where it tells you how to load the BBs, how to maintain the pistol and to load the CO2 gas unfortunately this is in Russian so I'll be telling you how to do everything here in this video stay tuned then we are greeted with this beautiful guy the Borna Sport 306 M this is the metal edition so it's much heavier than its plastic brother which I'll also be doing a review on later If we quickly have a look at the characteristics of the pistol it's powered by 12 gram co2 gas canister which i'll be showing you how to install just now this canister gives this pistol a muzzle energy of about three joules and its shot speed ranges between 390 and 400 feet per second that's quite fast look here at the design of the pistol you can see a nice Borna branding with the logo in front with a unique serial number you turn it here you can see it comes equipped with a Picatinny well where you can fit your laser or your torchlight whichever your needs are if we turn it around you can see it's another modeling of here nice Sport 306M with some warnings over here that it's not a toy and then as you can see here it's made in Taiwan and the F symbol here that states it's legal to shoot this pistol in any country and then if we move over here to the safety switch see now it's in safety mode if I pull the trigger there's no reaction from the pistol to put it in firing mode press the knob down you slide it to the back now you can see it's in firing mode and there's a reaction from the pistol we move over to the grip here you can see the nice texture with the Borna logo over here and it has a nice ergonomically designed grip to fit nicely into your hand as you can see here it fits in nicely right let's move on to the magazine if you have a closer look over here underneath the trigger guard you can see the mag eject button and it goes both ways so that's perfect for users that are left-handed and right-handed so you press that down like that and the mag ejects let's have a look at the magazine as you can see it looks similar to the C11 and the M84's magazine this one however can take up to 18 bullets you can load your 4.5 BB bullets by sliding this down till it clicks in there then you turn the magazine upside down you throw your BBs in there and then when it's full you flip the switch to the front and it will shoot into action now the magazine is loaded with the BB bullets and you can insert it back into the pistol like that. 
make sure it's flush here underneath the grip right let's start with the installation of the co2 canister to make space for the co2 canister you slide the grip to the back and you see there's a space for the canister today we will be using a 12 gram co2 canister put it in there until it falls in flush then you tighten the screw here at the bottom and then when it's tight enough the canister will make a hissing sound which states that it is pierced and the canister blew its CO2 gas into the pistol then we can close the grip and now the CO2 is loaded the BBC is loaded and this pistol is ready to shoot we have a closer look here on top you can see the pistol comes equipped with a fixed sight which contain light collecting straws which actually light up when exposed to light this makes it unique from the other pistols the barrel unfortunately is non blowback so it won't slide back and the length of the barrel is about 215 millimeters overall the pistol is made out of alloy metal with a polymer grip which gives it a weight of about 950 grams which is quite heavy for a little replica like this this pistol is a variant of the Italian Beretta M92 and it looks quite similar as you can see over there so yeah guys, that was my review on the Spawner 306 Sport M, that's the metal one, I'll be doing the Plastic Brother soon, be sure to go and check it out. Stay tuned for more reviews, more unboxings and feel free to subscribe to our channel. See you guys.